All right, so welcome to the start of my new series called Theology 101. Honestly, theology has had such a deep impact that really resonates um, with me every day. And I want to share it with you guys because theology can seep deep within you and really change your life. So here we go. First up is soteriology. Soteriology is the study of salvation. It is actually a conjunction of two Greek words. Soter, which is salvation, and logos, which is the study of or word. So what is salvation? It is the saving of the soul from its damning sin. Salvation in the Bible is described as the power of God to save people in Romans chapter 1 verse 16. This term is also synonymous with terms like deliverance or redemption which is only possible by the blood of Jesus Christ that was spilled on the cross on Calvary Hill. It is the forgiveness of sins. He saved us by paying the debt of our sin. Also deliverance, which has the idea of rescuing us from a dangerous situation. Just as Galatians chapter one, verse four puts it, Jesus gave up his life to rescue us from this present evil. A doctrine such as this means so much to me in the deepest parts of me because I know the sin that I have been rescued from. And I have comfort knowing that the sacrifice of Jesus was sufficient to secure me eternally. And I have great joy because not only did he exercise his ability to save me, but through his willingness to save me, he demonstrated his love. On April 2007, I was not looking for God. Matter of fact, I was too blind with anger, hate, and pride to even be looking for him. And I was too busy running the streets and and causing all kinds of trouble and getting high. Matter of fact, it got so bad to the point where a couple of people wanted to kill me. And they tried, and they weren't successful. I experienced God's salvation and deliverance and redemption in the most physical way. In a matter of moments, my life could have been taken away from me. Mathematically, it was plausible, but God didn't allow it because he stepped in. Though the odds were stacked against me, like all of us are with all of our sin, worthy of God's wrath, God intervenes. So the most important thing to take away from soteriology is that you're involved in this very plan of redemption. That even before the foundations of the earth were laid, Jesus had you in mind. The Bible says, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for the ungodly. That's you and I. So this beautiful study of his salvation, soteriology, every single time I look into it, it reminds me that before I was even thought of, he knew me and made a way for me to have eternity with him. Thank you guys for joining me on Theology 101.